Hello class, I hope you're having a great day. Today I would like to talk about relative velocity in chapter 6. And this is going to be the first situation for relative velocity. So I'll go over several different situations where we will use different equations for relative velocity. But let's start with the first example in the book. So let's get started. You are riding a bus slowly through heavy traffic at 4.2 meters per second. You hurry to the front of the bus at 1.9 meters per second relative to the bus. Calculate your velocity relative to the street. Okay, so what let's do is first draw a simple picture here. So let's say this is the bus. Here is the street. We have the velocity of the bus, so I'm going to use subscript bus, and then uh, that is 4.2 meters per second, and then it says you are running towards the front of the bus at 1.9 meters per second. So. I'll just say the velocity of the person is 1.9 meters per second. Now, the next thing we want to do is write down our base equation. So, for relative velocity, the base equation is the velocity of object A with respect to object C, or we could say the velocity of object A relative to object C is equal to the velocity of object A relative to object B plus the velocity of object B relative to object C. Now, the third step is we want to identify what objects A, B, and C are. So let's go ahead and write this down. So we have object A, B, and C. All right? So Let's, let's figure out what object A is here. And we need to read the problem. It says, calculate your velocity relative to the street. Okay? So object A, in our calculation, we want to know your velocity, the velocity of the person with respect or relative to the street. Okay? So that means object A is going to be you. So I'll just label that the person. And object C is going to be the street. That means object B is the bus. So we're going to apply this to our equation. So I'm going to rewrite this, the velocity of object A. So the person relative to the bus. So person relative to the bus plus the velocity of object B, the bus relative to C, the street, and since we've identified this in our equation, it's now time for us to plug in our values for these variables. So the velocity of the person relative to the bus is 1.9 meters per second. plus the velocity of the bus relative to the street. This is 4.2 meters per second. Okay, so the velocity of the person relative to the street is going to be the sum of these two values, which is 6.1 meters per second. So that is the answer to, to this problem. And this is the first situation described by the book. So there are several different more situations that I will talk about in later videos. But I hope me working through this problem has helped you. If you have any questions, please give me a call or send me an email. I hope you have a wonderful day.